In this video, you'll learn how to use the Excel style filter editor available to end users by default, how to switch to a version that allows you to compare values from one field to values in another, and how to manually invoke and customize these editors in code. To invoke the Excel style filter editor for a column, click this column's filter button and select custom in the dropdown. The editor allows end users to create criteria that consist of one or two conditions combined by AND or OR logical operators. Let's change the comparison operator of the first condition to is greater than. In the editor to the right, enter the value 10. Leave the AND logical operator selected. For the second condition, choose is less than and enter the value 30. Click OK to apply the created filter condition. As a result, the grid displays records whose unit price is between $10 and $30. Now close the application. Select the view, expand its options filter property, and enable the Use New Custom Filter dialog option. Run the application to see the change. Now when you select Custom in a Columns Filter dropdown, a different version of the Custom Filter Editor is used. This editor additionally provides the capability to compare a current column's values to values in another column. Activate this mode for the first condition by selecting the Field checkbox and choose the Discount Price column in the dropdown list. Then change the comparison operator to does not equal. For the second condition, choose is less than and enter the value 20. Click OK to show only those records that have a discount assigned while the unit price is less than 20. Let's now see how the Excel style filter editors can be invoked and customized in code. The ribbon control already has a show custom filter editor button. To invoke the Excel style filter editor for the category column in the click event handler, call the views show custom filter dialog method and pass the category column as a parameter. Filter editors can be customized in the views custom filter dialog event, which is raised when an editor is about to be displayed. Let's write a handler for this event that will suppress the default dialog for the unit price column and then we'll apply a custom filter condition. The event's column parameter identifies the column to be filtered. Let's specify the desired filter condition and text to be displayed within the filter panel and create a new column filter info object with these settings. Then assign the new filter item to the event's filter info parameter. Finally, set the handled parameter to true to prevent the default filter editor from being invoked after event execution. Now let's run the application and click the Show Custom Filter Editor button. A filter editor will be displayed for the category column. In the Invoke dialog, specify two conditions to display records from the Beverages and Confections categories. Now invoke the Unit Price Columns filter dropdown and select Custom. This selects records whose unit price is between 10 and 30.